Hello and welcome to this video on tools of the DevOps trade, monitoring. In this video, we will dive into the world of monitoring and explore its relevance to the DevOps profession. We will start by understanding the challenges of traditional monitoring and how the need for real-time visibility and proactive issue detection gave rise to modern monitoring practices. We will then define what monitoring is and highlight its key benefits, such as improved reliability, availability, and performance. We will also explore the different types of monitoring tools and technologies available in the market, including log management, APM, infrastructure monitoring, synthetic monitoring, and how they fit into the picture. Finally, we will discuss the specific skills and knowledge that DevOps engineers should have when working with monitoring tools and emphasize the importance of monitoring security and best practices for managing monitoring systems in a DevOps environment. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of monitoring and its role in modern software development and deployment. First, let's understand why monitoring is critical in today's world of software development. With the increasing complexity of modern applications and infrastructure, traditional monitoring approaches are no longer sufficient. Traditional monitoring tools were reactive in nature, meaning that they alert DevOps engineers only after an issue had occurred. This approach leads to delays in detecting and fixing issues, resulting in reduced reliability, availability, and performance of applications. Modern monitoring practices, on the other hand, focus on real-time visibility and proactive issue detection allowing DevOps engineers to identify and resolve issues quickly and efficiently. So, what is monitoring? Monitoring is the process of collecting and analyzing data about the performance and availability of an application or infrastructure. Monitoring helps DevOps engineers identify issues before they impact end users, leading to improved reliability, availability, and performance of applications. As a DevOps engineer, you will be expected to be proficient at working with a number of tools used for monitoring. So, let's talk briefly about the different types of monitoring tools and technologies available in the market. Log management tools, these are a critical component of any DevOps team's arsenal as they provide valuable insights into the performance and behavior of both applications and infrastructure. These tools allow DevOps engineers to collect, store, and analyze log data generated by various components of their systems, including servers, applications, network devices, and security devices. One popular log management tool is Elasticsearch, a distributed, open-source search and analytics engine that can handle large amounts of data. Elasticsearch can ingest logs from various sources and provide real-time search and analysis capabilities, allowing DevOps teams to quickly identify issues and take action to resolve them. Other popular log management tools include Logstash and Kibana, which can be used in combination with Elasticsearch to create a complete log management and analysis solution. Together, they are commonly called the ELK stack. Elasticsearch is able to store the data like a database for logs. Logstash is used to parse the data before it gets to Elasticsearch, just in case we need to do some data manipulation. Then Kibana is used to visualize the stored data in charts and dashboards. Application Performance Monitoring APM tools. These are used to monitor the performance and availability of applications. APM tools provide detailed insights into application performance metrics such as response time, throughput, and error rates. Some examples are New Relic, Dynatrace, Elastic APM which is a part of the Elastic stack, Datadog, and a few others. Infrastructure monitoring tools, these are used to monitor the health and performance of infrastructure components such as servers, databases, and network devices. Infrastructure monitoring tools provide insights into infrastructure metrics such as CPU usage, memory usage, and disk space utilization. Some examples include Nogios, Zabbix, Prometheus, and Sensu. Some of the APN tools also have the capabilities to monitor infrastructure such as Datadog and New Relic. 
synthetic monitoring. These are tools used to simulate user interactions with applications, allowing DevOps engineers to identify issues before they impact end users. Synthetic monitoring tools provide insight into application performance metrics, such as response time, throughput, and error rates. Some examples include Selenium web page test, Optrends, and Blazemeter. Now let's dive into some best practices for working with monitoring tools. DevOps engineers should have a clear understanding of the specific monitoring requirements of their applications and infrastructure. You should define clear metrics and thresholds for monitoring system and configure alerts to notify when these thresholds are breached. As a DevOps engineer, you should also perform regular health checks of the monitoring system and ensure that they are up to date with the latest security patches and software updates. Monitoring security is also a critical concern. Monitoring systems collect sensitive data such as user credentials, application logs, and infrastructure metrics. DevOps engineers should ensure that monitoring systems are secure by implementing appropriate access controls, data encryption, and network segmentation. You must consider monitoring systems for security threats and vulnerabilities and take appropriate actions to mitigate these risks. In conclusion, monitoring is a critical tool in the DevOps engineer's toolbox. Modern monitoring practices focus on real-time visibility and proactive issue detection, leading to improved reliability, availability, and performance of applications. DevOps engineers should have a clear understanding of the specific monitoring requirements for applications and infrastructure and choose the right monitoring. I hope this video has been helpful and I will see you in the next one.